somehow, after I think we were together for over five years, but towards the end, I started having this feeling that something somewhere is, well, anyway, I, I got a hunch that I should go to Israel, and I didn't know where that came from. I think also the relationship started kind of winding down, perhaps. But anyway, I felt like suddenly I should go to, I must go to Israel. And that's when, you know, you're asking when I connected with it, that was the time when I did finally 100% connected with it. And I went there and the proverbial, I don't know if it's prover proverbial, but very common um, feeling came to me that seems to happen to lots of people that you get out of the plane and this warm breathe comes on you and you suddenly feel like, oh my God, like, what is this? Like, here I am. I love it. And I've, I've read this after it happened to me so many times. I said, okay, there really is something there. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> right at the airport. And, uh, so, so I walked in there and then I was in Tel Aviv and, and I was staying in the hotel and and I was walking the streets and everywhere I went, I had this feeling like I've been there before. I, like, it was just so powerful. And I'm looking at some buildings. I was actually in Tel Aviv many times since then. And I'm always trying to find that building. I, I don't think it's there anymore, but it was like a corner building. It looked like 200 years old, you know, that had uh, curtains blowing through the window. And I just like, I know this place, you know. Wow, 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 wow. And, and I felt a really, really strong connection, really strong. And then, then I took a tour and it went uh, to Masada. And uh, I climbed up on top of Masada. And there it was like, I knew that, wow, this is, this is it. This is what I've been looking for always. I just didn't know that I was looking for it, you know. And I felt like I'm doing everything wrong. I'm a singer without meaning. I have to be a Jewish singer and I have to... Uh, I have a very different path now and I have to connect back to what I haven't been doing. And even though my family was assimilated, I felt like I, I felt a connection to something that they didn't seem to feel a connection to. And um, uh, so uh, I felt the only way forward for me was as a Jewish singer. And in fact, I wanted to stay in Israel like I was determined. But um, I had a friend there who saved me from that, I have to say, because uh, at that time I was already back at school and uh, I did uh, like one year of uh, teacher's education at UBC. And he said, uh, well, you know, go back, finish your degree. Then if you still want, then you move to Israel, but not in the middle, that would be such a waste. So I very reluctantly went back and uh, broke up with my boyfriend because I thought, okay, now I only should be with a Jewish man and I should have a Jewish family and I this and I that and I that. And, and um, so I went back, broke up with him and finished my degree 